Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. Today you have completed one of the most important exams of your life that is your board exams and I really wish you, you, you all have performed very well in your exam, right? Okay, now my many of you might be in confusion what to do now, next, right? So you have now three, uh, like majorly the students are writing the three most important entrance exams some of you might be writing your NEET, which is on 5th May. Some of you will be writing your KSET, which is on 18th and 19th April. And many of you may also be writing the JE mains exam, which is on 4th April, right? So, uh, based on, now see, this time, which is there from today to the day you are writing your entrance exam, this time is very crucial. So, the way you plan this time, it will decide whether you will be getting your dream college, dream branch or not, right? So it is very important whatever you have studied before is different and how you are planning this last month is very very important. So I have written many exams okay and I have done well in them also and I have also guided my students to do so. So based on my experience I will be giving you some tips how to use this last time okay. So it's not like it's a fixed rule you have to follow this only okay but you can uh, make some changes according to your requirements. But just follow these basic guidelines uh, so that you don't get divert or you don't waste your time in unnecessary things. Okay, so now let us see. So now after exam, I can say that the, you all people can be of three types. Some people are there who can be like planning for trips who are like, okay, uh, exam is over, they will be chilling, right? Next will be some students who will be right, okay, we have exam, we have to prepare. So then they, they will jump to the preparation. Today by from like they'll be starting, they have already started by now, okay. And next we have those who are like, okay, let me take a short break. Uh, let me refresh myself and then let us start the preparation. So what I want to say is based on your exam dates, the plan should be according to your exam dates, okay. So we have, I'll give, tell you the right approach. So first is, uh, the students like those have already written board but they have many things to cover okay so those students who are having neat and kset exam okay so students having neat and kset exam i'll recommend them to take one or two day break okay because your exam is having time so you can afford one or two day breaks and then you can start the preparation so in these two one or two days try to do things you like energize yourself refresh yourself and then start the preparation now students who are writing J, okay, so I will be very sorry to say but J students you have to start the preparation from today. You know you are having very less days, right, so you have to start the preparation today only and you have to utilize it properly. After once your J exams are over, you can take rest, okay. So point is what, NEET and KSET students can afford one or two days break. But I will recommend J students to start the preparation from today only. Okay, now how to start the preparation? So should we like start the whole in a full Josh will start from today or we have to, how we should do it? So first of all, you have to start slow. This is for the students who are having time, like more than uh, 30 days or some after exam, we have some time. So what you have to do, you have to start slow. Okay, it's not like from today only you will be studying 10, 15 hours. Okay, not like that. Make it slow, start slow, plan accordingly and then do. So first revise the crucial chapters, whatever. So in, when you are starting slow, when you are giving less time to studies, give more importance to high weightage chapters. Next is you also revise the first PU syllabus. Say you have been writing board exams and uh, you are like uh, from last one year, you are more in touch with the PU2 syllabus and PU1 syllabus you might have forgotten, right? So give some importance and revision for PU1 syllabus also. Okay, now creating a study schedule. See, this is very important and I will tell you first how to like before making a schedule, what things you should keep in mind. So first is you have to uh, divide the whole syllabus into three categories, high weightage chapters, moderate weightage chapters and low weightage chapters. So for KSET, we have already discussed in our pre previous videos, you can do it from them. And for NEET and J, you can just analyze your previous year papers and then divide them. Next is after doing this one, you have to analyze which is your strong point and which is your weak point. So which chapters you are very good at, 
and they are also high weightage and which chapters you are not very good at so that you have to keep in mind make a list of these things next is you have to finalize your resources this is very important see at this moment uh, you cannot afford to go some new reference book and start reading them so whatever you have just go to them revise them so now don't include any new resources whatever you have you fix it for this chapter or this subject this is the book i'm going to study so just revise it okay like fix it the resources now after this we will prepare the study uh, uh, schedule so you have to do it you have to uh, give some break within the study uh, schedule so that you don't get exhausted okay so now when you prepare the structure timetable i will tell you to do it in slots okay so that is my next point so you have to do it in multiple slots you do not go like 10 hours i'll study at a time you can do 3 three, three slots in a day one slot of 3 hours and then in between you can take uh, like 15 20 minutes break and then study now in this slot also give more importance to your high weightage chapters and the topics which you are not very good at okay so i hope this is clear so first thing is what you have to divide the chapter uh, into high moderate and low weightage second is you have to find out your strong point and weak point third is you have to finalize the resources then fourth is you have to prepare a structured uh, study timetable with slots okay then you have to in this slots you have to give high weightage chapters more importance okay next is you have to, as i told you you have to keep multiple study slots next mock test okay so in this time when you have all very few days left for the exam mock test play a very important role right so with the revision with completing syllabus you should also add mock test so why it is required so mock tests are required first of all to see what is the level of your preparation like have you covered at least 50% 70% 80% of the syllabus or you which chapters are left to be done so these all things you will analyze when you are doing the mock test next is is it only enough to write the mock test no you have not only write the mock test you also have to analyze them so make a proper table like i will suggest you have to make a mock test uh, analysis where you will prepare the table write down the question numbers here write down when, whether it is correct or wrong if it is wrong write down the reason okay so and this question is from which chapter then you see which chapter questions you are getting more wrong and what type of mistakes you are doing whether it is a calculation mistake silly mistake conceptual mistake so that all you will know after doing this analysis so is it enough to do analysis no after doing analysis you have to keep that in mind and it should not be repeated in the next exam okay so that is more important so first is writing mock test is important then analyzing them is important and then not repeating it in the next mock test is very very important so if if you do this then only your progress your scores will be increasing otherwise there is no point you will be getting the same less marks in every test okay now uh, yes utilize this test you have to identify your strength and weakness and then work accordingly okay yes so now what else you have to do suppose you have any doubt you have some uh, concept clarification you require so you can just seek guidance from your teachers they will always help you so please go to them next you have to use all your resources wisely as i already told you don't go for any new resources now just revise those which you have already taken and then you have to have a positive mindset okay so this is very important as we say whatever mind is more powerful right so if you have not done well in any test so no need to worry just analyze your mistakes and try that you should not repeat it in the next exam okay and maintain a healthy lifestyle for this do some kind of yoga meditation walk something you do so that your health is good and take nutritious food also next is your if you have time okay those for those students who are having exam after one month or some time they can invest some time in their non academic activities like uh, some hobby they can utilize so that their mind is healthy and they can put uh, more effective results and then you have to uh, you have to see your how you are progressing daily okay so you have to just see the marks of your test whether it is increasing decreasing why it is decreasing you have to analyze it 
and you have to also have a table like this week what you are going to study how many chapters you are going to complete so that track you have to keep okay so that's all for this video so this was a small guidance for your preparation you can change it according to your requirements right so next one month is very very crucial for you you are going to it will decide which college you will be joining which branch you will be getting how will be your future so everything depends now how you are utilizing it right so all the very best for your exam do well stay focused keep working hard you will definitely get very good results right so if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe our channel for more updates